Hi, my name is Vivek Adhikari. I am a regular instructor. In today's class, we are going to solve the reading portion of Unit 2, that is, a brave female pilot. So, let's begin. All right, we are now going to start the reading portion of Unit 2, which is a brave female pilot. In this reading portion, we shall be going through the text and later on solving the comprehension question. So, I'm going to divide the chapter into two distinct headings. First one is the reading and second is solving the comprehension question. So, let's begin. A brave female pilot. In 1930s, aeroplanes were very small. They only flew short distances. The pilots were very brave. Amy Johnson was a very brave lady pilot. She was the first person to fly alone from London to England to Darwin in Australia. When she was near Yangon in Myanmar, it was raining very heavily. She could see only cloud. She came very low. In Yangon, there was no airport. There was a long stretch of grassy land used for horse races. It was the only place for landing an airplane. Amy looked and looked. She couldn't see the race course. She had no more patrol. I must land, she thought. She saw a small piece of grass. She saw people waving. She came down. It was a campus football field. The plane hit a goalpost and went into a hole. The wings were broken. Amy was so sad. Now she couldn't reach Australia. But the students helped her. They used their shirts and mended the wings. They borrowed a fire engine. They put the aeroplane on the top of the fire engine and took it to the race course. It looked funny, but on Friday, 16 May 1913, Amy took off from the race course. She had many more adventures. On May 24 May 1930, her little plane arrived in Darwin, Australia. Well done, Amy. So that was the end of the reading portion of Unit 2. Now let us go and try to solve the comprehension questions. By the way, it's pretty, you know, easy text. There are three paragraphs and the paragraphs are pretty simple. It's about a brave female pilot who could actually, you know, fly to Darwin, Australia, although she was forced to land in Yangon because she had no more patrol and she was out of patrol. So she landed there in the race course and the airplane was heavily damaged. But the students from Yangon really helped her mend the airplane and finally she could fly and go back to Australia. So it's a it's a little bit of journey that she took. Moving on, let's go to the comprehension questions now. First question that we have is called ways with words. And in this portion, we are going to match the two columns with each other. We have a word brave followed by stretch and mend. The meaning of brave is courageous or bold. And the meaning of stretch is wide area of something. Now the meaning of mend is repair, right? So repair or put back together. So let's solve some more questions from ways with words. Column A and column B. We have a word adventure and race course. Or the meaning of the word adventure is exciting activity or journey. And the meaning of race course is track around which horses race. Now let's go to another question which is finding out whether the statements are true or false. All right, first let's find out whether these three statements are true or false. The first one we have is Amy had two friends on the plane. Is it correct? No or yes? So I don't think it is any correct because she was the first person to fly alone from London to England to Darwin. So this is in fact a false statement. And Amy was rather tra traveling alone. Moving on to second question between England and Australia. She came down many times. Of course not. She came down only once and that also in Yangon. And it was raining in Yangon. Of course it was raining. It was in fact raining very heavily, quite heavily in the capital of Myanmar. Moving on, let's solve some more questions. So let's solve some more questions. The first one that we have is a race course is a place for playing volleyball. Of course not. A race course is where 
horse riding take place or some kind of race is done. So not a place where volleyball is played. A small plane can land on a race course. I think that is true because Amy actually landed her plane on a race course. Moving on, she came down on a football field again. Fall, she came down on a race course. Two more questions are there. Let's solve them. So let's solve these two more questions. The first one is a carpenter mended the plane, which is absolutely a wrong statement. So false, because not the carpenters, but the students mended the plane. They used their search and mended the wings. She didn't reach Australia. What nonsense. She, of course, reached Australia. And she was, in fact, the first lady pilot to travel all the way from London in England to Darwin in Australia. Let's go to another portion. It's yeah, something called have your say, which is in fact the speaking portion of the book. So let's go there. So we are going to learn how to give Amy's answer to these questions. First question is, where did you land? So somebody, maybe a reporter is asking this question to Amy and is Amy, you have to answer. You should say something like, I landed. So a past tense is used. So you should answer in past tense. I landed on a race course in Yangon. So this is the way you can actually answer the question. When the question is in V2, make sure your answer is also in the second form of the tense. The simple past questions in simple past should be answered in simple past tense. Moving on, another question that's there is, what did you do, sorry, what did you look for in Yangon? So this is another question and the answer to that question would be, I looked for a place to land the air plane. So this could be the answer. I looked for a place to land the airplane. When I was in Yangon, I was searching. I was in fact looking and looking for a place where, where I could actually land the airplane. Now we come to the homework section and I am going to give you some homework from the text. Now all you have to do is answer these questions. First one is what happened? What happened? So you have to suppose that you're Amy and answer this question. Another question is how did you feel? So this is another question. How did you feel? And you have to answer this. And the last question is, who helped you? And I've got to answer these three questions based on your reading. So you have read the text and you've understood the text. Now it is your duty to answer any question from the text. All right. With this, we have come to end of today's class. If you have any questions or suggestions regarding these video series, feel free to write us at learning at Thank you so much.